G'day guys, it's Paul from Polyman Astro, and welcome to another 5 Minute Friday, where I'll take a single script or process, or perhaps even a real world problem, and try to show you how to use them or explain how to fix the problem in 5 minutes or less. Today I'm going to be looking at Curves Transformation Tool, and in particular, how to use it to adjust hue inside your image. <laughs> So today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. Rather than play with my data endlessly, I thought I'd play with some Hubble data. So I went onto the Hubble Legacy Archive and searched up um, a region called the Mystic Mountain, uh, which is in Eta Carina. And in fact, here is one of my images of the Eta Carina Nebula. And if I zoom in towards the keyhole here, then I can see where the Mystic Mountain is. Uh, it's just this region here. You can see there's a little hump here and then a taller peak here, okay? So here is the Hubble data, my pre-processing. I've used GHS to stretch them and get them all to about the same intensity so that it's gonna be easier to add them into a color image uh, in the future. I'm going to use the 4X palette. So here we go, here is our color RGB 4X without the stars in it. Um, and you can see there's some artifacts. So even Hubble gets artifacts and reflections, which is quite interesting. And you can see there's some beautiful reds and oranges and golds. Um, and what I want to use now is the Curves Transformation tool uh, to quickly do a saturation boost um, and then we'll adjust the hues a little bit because what I can see is uh, the blues, I want them to be a little bit deeper blue uh, than they are now and I want to try and boost these oranges and golds uh, a little bit if I can. So let's do that now. We'll go to Hue. Uh, what I'm going to do is put some control points in. I don't want to adjust the purples, so I'm going to put something in there. I don't want to adjust... Definitely don't want to adjust the yellows and the reds at the moment. I might change that in a minute because I want to zero in on, on these blues and so on. And I probably don't want to adjust the green too much either. Now what I can do is I can click on regions of interest in my image. So here this little greeny section I can see is in the cyan section. So the X is where it is at the moment and the Y axis is going to be the color it's going to change to. So at the moment I'm in this kind of region. And the deeper blues in here are more like here. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to make those deeper blues a bit more blue. So I'm going to pull them up a bit, but not too much because I don't want them to go purple. And I can't decide whether I want to make this region a bit more green to kind of accentuate that difference or not. Or do I want to make it more blue? Uh, I don't want to make it duotone. Let's, let's accentuate it a little bit. So I'm going to make that a little bit more green. So you can see it's really pulled apart the, the deeper blues from the, the greeny blues. So here's the before and here's the after. It's subtle, but it, it's definitely done something in this blue region. Now what I want to do is start playing in this region here. So I've got these reds here and I've got these oranges here and I've got these yellows here. So the yellows, I kind of want to make more yellow if I can more yellowy golden, so before, after, subtle. The oranges, I want to make a bit deeper as well, but I don't want to pull this too much here. So let's see what we've done. I've definitely done something in here. Uh, I've definitely boosted that a little bit. I feel like it's, it's done something along these highlighted regions here too. So let's apply that. Okay, so let's, let's duplicate this, uh, and I won't make both images bigger so we can see them. And what I'll do is I'll undo this one so we can do a side by side here and see that this region here, the oranges are definitely much more orangey red and more punchy here. And I have definitely strengthened the dichotomy here between the, the deeper blue and the, the cyan, which is again what I wanted to do. Okay, so they're the two things I wanted to play with here. So you can use the hue to do things to your image and you've just got to play around with it. And if you use control points, then you can very much control what it is you're trying to do. So let's go through now and um, combine this with a, a luminance and see what the final hum Hubble image looks like. And there we go. So let's go to curves here, because what often happens is when you add your luminance, it sucks out some of the saturation. So let's put that back. And what we can do now is make it look more like the Hubble image. So I'm going to flip it horizontally, because that's how the Hubble image is presented. I'm going to crop in to roughly how the Hubble image looks. So 
So there is Hubble's Misty Mountain in the 4X palette. Just for reference, here is the original Hubble um, Mystic Mountain that we can do a comparison on. So there's the Hubble image, and there's my version of the image in the 4X palette. Thanks for watching.